okay uh, here we have this exponential function g of t equals 1.52 times uh, 3.61 raised to the power of t and we answered these questions that is the uh, initial value of g which is uh, g of 0 so we plug in t equal to 0 into this uh, exponential function to determine g of 0 so therefore this becomes uh, 1.52 times uh, 3.61 raised to the power of 0 and so this equals 1.52 uh, number raised to the power of 0 equals 1 so it becomes uh, 1.52 times 1 and this equals 1.52 so therefore we see that uh, g of 0 equals uh, 1.52 and for any exponential function we can easily determine the initial value by looking at this number which comes before this exponent so this is usually the initial value of g. Now let's determine the one unit growth factor of g. And for this exponential function, this number which is uh, inside the exponent uh, is usually the one unit uh, growth factor. But for that, we have to look at uh, the variable t. And since this is just as uh, variable t and not like half t or 2t, if it is uh, t as long as it is t we can say that uh, the number inside the exponent is the one unit growth factor so therefore we say that uh, one unit growth factor is uh, 3.61 now let's uh, calculate the one unit percent change of uh, g and for this uh, i'm going to consider the one unit uh, growth factor which is uh, 3.61 and then subtract 1 from this uh, 1 unit growth factor and this quantity multiplied by 100 gives the 1 unit percent change. So this gives 3.61 minus uh, 1 is uh, 2.61 and when we multiply with uh, 100 we get uh, 2.61 times 100 is uh, 261. So therefore this is in percent. So we say that one unit percent change of G is 261 percent. 